Hello and welcome to the video. I am Floydson and today my wife and I embark on an epic Stardew Valley adventure. We've played plenty of Stardew over the years, but this time it's a little different. For the first time, we're playing with the mod. Before we dive in though, a few things. This is the first time my wife has featured on this channel, so I thought I'd let you know her name is Alyssa. I call her Sa, and I'd love it if you made her welcome. Secondly, if you're curious, the mods are listed in the description below. I essentially stole the complete list off a YouTuber named Therm, who's doing like a similar series. And lastly, each episode in this series will be three in-game days with plenty of editing to speed things up and keep things spicy. Enjoy! Welcome to the beginning of a new series. We've got Bob Ross's farm and you can see why by my character. Because it's multiplayer, we've already lost half of our first day. It's like 1 p.m. Pretty sure you generally go through your energy on the first day anyway. So let's look at some of the mods. See, one of the mods is all of these new art artisan machines that we'll be able to make eventually. Um, I feel like so much pressure though, because we can't pause because it's multiplayer. I'm gonna go see what yep. if there's any new seeds. So what else we got? We got experience spars up in the left, self-explanatory. Some new skins to these trees, they look different to me. I believe the map looks different, Sa, if you look at the map. A bit more detailed, yep. and blue for some reason. Yeah, it's I think there's way like bluer. 50 new crops, there's new, maybe new trees in general. There's definitely new fruit trees. I'm just looking at the spring starting crops and I can't see anything out of the ordinary. Hang on, onion, that's new. Parsley, basil, cabbage, passion fruit, spinach, that all looks new. And we got almond, sapling, Asian pear, cashew, fragrant fragrant wisteria, granny smith, a bunch of new pa uh, spices like paprika and nutmeg, etc. For cooking, presumably. Hmm. Chewing gum. Okay, there's like so much new stuff. Let's buy some of the new crops. Give them a shot. Five have you cabbage. researched any of uh, five any of how to use these new crops, or is this completely new to you? No, this is I got no idea what's going on. Uh, <laughs> let's just buy. Would have bought some parsley as well, but I didn't have any room in my bags. How many times have we played through this game? Oh, Four? Uh, if you mean getting up to like the desert and that sort of thing, probably. Oh, probably five, I think. Wait, why can't I do what I'm trying to do? Usually you can right click and as you're running it puts them down. It's not working. Gotta water these bad boys. I think the onion was eight days. I don't know how long the other ones were. I can't even remember what I bought anymore. I can tell it's been a while because I keep missing my tiles. Alright, we're running out of time. I gotta use my energy. So which trees are those? Is that the maple tree? No, it's the oak trees that look quite different. They're like pink. So that's a cosmetic change. Oh, cool. I just noticed the XP bar went up. It's really handy. I feel like it means you can um, approach your day with a bit more intent. Uh, do you know if there's any way to make your toolbar larger? Uh, not sure. Look how far I can zoom out because it's 4K. <laughs> Madness. Do you have any energy left? Three. I've got two. Oh no, I've got 32 because I had a little nap. Oh yeah, yes. we can use the nap strats. Nap strats. That's the, uh, the win of playing in multiplayer. Can't pause, but you can nap. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick loop towards the town. Look for any foraging stuff. I guess we just play through with kind of the normal goals, which is make money, progress in kind of the, the tech and materials. Um, fill out the museum, get through the mine. Eventually the skull cavern. Yeah, and try out a few of these new artisan tools. See what yeah, makes good money. Try out all the new things. Obviously do the community center. Gonna be fun. Hey, even the decrepit rundown uh, greenhouse is looks different. It's got cobwebs. I'm gonna come into your bed. Let's go to bed. Hey, what are you doing in my bedroom? <laughs> you see why Bob Ross, right? Yeah, yeah. And what are you? I'm Yennefer. Venderberg. <laughs> <laughs> Willie's got something for me. What do you think it is? Oh, big Willie. Yes, we shall collect our fishing rods from Willie. Willie's going to give you an old rod. All right, we're awarded for the day. Very good. Planted four mixed seeds here. What's on the agenda? All right, probably Willie and his rod. You need to chill. <laughs> All right, it's just it's low hanging fruit. Our houses um, have like banners across them. The aesthetic on the outside is quite nice. Very fancy. The bus is red. That's an aesthetic difference, I think. Oh my gosh, I can see so much. 
for context from that comment, I used to play this game on like a standard issue Dell, like office monitor, and now was, I've got Joe's old Samsung. Just HD monitor, so it's four. It's so big. Four times less resolution. Yeah. Yes. Oh, here we go. I got a uh, glass shards. That's an artifact I can turn in. You're always so good at finding those worms. You not notice them? I don't. I think just the general movement of the game means that there's like leaves and flowers doing little animations and I just miss the worms. You gotta look for little squiggly fellas. Hi Vincent. Yes, Gunther, your museum is conspicuously empty. What went wrong? Donate some glass shards. That'll do. I suppose I should talk to a few villagers while I'm not yeah. doing much. Hi Jazz. I already talked to Vincent. Hi Penny. Just a weirdo at the museum talking to the children. Tiny mum run around from yesterday. Um, Lewis has got a quest saying daffodil for a little bit of money. So I've given him my daffodil. Get a little bit of gold. Get a couple more seeds. Nice. We're gonna get some spinaches. Because they only take three days to grow and it was a good um, multiple of 90, so. That's some good maths, man. I'm a mathematician. Foreign cask. Pepper mm. blender. Extruder. Espresso. Smoker. Soap press. Soapstone. Oh, that's like a... Soapstone is usually something you can only use for the museum, I think. Juicer. Uses obsidian. Ice cream machine. Sorbet machine. Yogurt jar. Mm. Wax barrel. Vinegar cask. So, at the very least... All of these pretty much require iron. So we've got a bit of a ways to go before we can explore those. So I think the early game should be relatively normal. Um, and I think we just make our objective the community center. And I guess exploring what we can that's new. Yeah, trying out the new crops. See how they go for a turn. I might try and explore south. Got your horse reddish. Make sure we hang on to one of each. Foraging. <laughs> Foraging, yeah, that's the word. Keep forgetting the early game, your bag's so small. Yeah. Gotta leave some stuff. Oh, God, how hard fishing is at the start. The fish isn't moving and I'm still having a conniption. I got a sunfish! Uh, we don't have the community chest unlocked yet. I can't exactly remember what you need, but maybe just hang on to all fish until we know. Sounds good to me. Or like one of each at least, and then sell the rest, I think. Something nerd. <laughs> you reckon there's any spring onions down this way? I don't know. You know I haven't found them. You know about yet. them sp spring, spring onions? You've already got a leak. Do you, is that what you mean by spring onion? No, no. Spring end is a different thing. It spawns uh, where I am on the map. If you look down near like the sewer. Oh, yeah. In the dirt patches. There's none but here for some reason. Usually there hmm. would be. But they're, they're like maybe like 5 health, 8 energy or vice versa. Kind of good for early game but kind of annoying because you have to eat like 43 of them to get it. Decent amount yeah, of energy. Indeed. There's the rundown house that the weird mouse is it a mouse? The guy that sells hats? Hats, hats, hats. Yeah, that fell off. So the collectibles I've... are in the brown chest. Collectibles, brown chest, foliage <laughs> in the green chest, wood and mm -hmm. stuff. Black what chest is foraging stone stuff and coal. do we have? Okay, black chest. Uh, foraging, we have dandelion, daffodil, leek, wild horseradish. I think that's all four you need, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's so dark, man. I need the. You get a ring, right? Like a glow ring? Oh, yeah. Glowing. I don't think we're even going to unlock the mines in this in this uh, episode, though. Oh, archaeology quest. Create a nice path through here. Beautiful. Oh, geode. <laughs> I can't see what color the chests are in the dark. <laughs> the leftmost one's black. Middle is green. I'm going to bed. We'll reel in my rod and leg my way back to our little farm. Oh, hello. I picked the right bed. Level one foraging. Nice. Nice. Sold some foraging stuff, did we? I sold any double ups. Oh, it's raining. That's day good. three is always a rainy day. Oh no! Get out of here, crow! Get out of here, crow! There are some raining fish in the spring, aren't there? Yeah, it's there's catfish in the river. They're very hard to catch, so level it's pretty three. much impossible on level one fishing. I'm actually uh, level zero fishing. Oh yeah, level zero. I'm just gonna. Ooh, found a topaz in the bin. Someone threw out a topaz. That's outrageous. Fishing. Fishing on a bridge. Fishing. Fishing on a bridge. Like the first time you fish, it shows mercy to you. It doesn't, doesn't go down while you're failing. Yeah. Oh, and I got a catfish as a result. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
That's a way to hack your first catfish. I'm getting into a fight with this guy. What is that again? Is that Shane? Sorry, Shane. I'm abandoning the uh, the river. I keep getting cash catfish. It's too difficult. I'm going to open those geodes. Oh, you looked at that trash can. That's the ideal trash can to look at. Why is it ideal? Because it's on the path to everything. True. Got some coal and three copper ore. Here, where are you? Let me give you this topaz and see if you can donate it and get money off Gunther. Okay, here we go. Donate to museum. Uh, no, I did not get anything. It's a sad life. Nothing. Didn't give you a quest you can turn in? No. Sad. I stole all the quest. Hi, Leo. Nice to meet you. Hey, Alex. Cool. Where'd you put all the fish? Oh, here. In the collectible chest. That's the extras. Do you ever catch any fish on the farm? The little pond? Yeah. It's, it's much rarer. Because the way fish work is distance of where your... Wherever your line lands, if how far away it is from land. Alright, I'm going to bed. Which house are you sleeping in? You sleep in your cabin, I think. I'm, I'm in the master's house. Alright, well there's day three. Decent fishing hole. Look at that clutch catch fish. Catfish. Pretty normal start, I guess. Gotta press through the early game and get to maybe iron, and then we can start testing out some new machines. Yeah, I'm pretty keen to try out some of the artisan machines. Like, I love animal rearing in these games, even though it's one of the least profitable endeavors. Um, so I'm keen to try out the yogurt machine. <laughs> All right, well, thank you everyone for watching. We'll, uh, we'll be back soon with some more Stardew Valley.